Welcome back to You Heard It Here with Dr. Gary. I'm Gary, clinical audiologist and part of the ownership team here at Advanced Hearing Group in Scottsdale, Arizona. Today, we're going to answer the question, why should we not be using Q-tips? As you can see, severely impacted earwax is the reason we should not be using Q-tips. More often than not, when you use a Q-tip, you're going to force that wax deep down the ear canal, possibly contacting the eardrum, causing discomfort, oral fullness, and reduced hearing. In this patient's case, after they've been Q-tipping, we're removing the wax using the curette or the Jobson horn, and we're going to be able to get a good view of the eardrum. The goal on this channel is to provide education as well as entertainment. So yes, this wax removal is entertaining to watch, but we're going to give you some did you knows about your ears and hearing. We're trying to do at least one did you know in each video. So for this video, we're going to have another did you know about the middle ear. Let's look at that nice eardrum. Did you know that the middle ear is not only the home of the smallest bone in the human body, it's also the home of the smallest muscle in the human body. The middle ear is a pretty cool place. Let's take a look at this second patient. Again, another admitted Q-tipper. We can see this wax and the coloration. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you want to take a guess as to how long this wax has been in there. Unfortunately, I don't have an exact answer because, well, I didn't put it there, but I can tell you that I'm pretty sure this wax has been in the ear for a long time. Given its coloration and texture, it's definitely not something new. As we pull this wax out in large chunks, we're going to relieve the oral fullness, the pressure in the ears, and we're going to give the patient some much needed relief. If you like these videos, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It really helps us know what content drives you to watch these videos and encourages me to continue with them. All right, let's take a look in this ear canal, see if we got it all out. And here we go. You can see just a very little bit left in that upper left corner. This has been You Heard It Here with Dr. Gary. Please take a moment to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.